It is my pleasure now to introduce the senior speaker, Mrs. Passion Calhoun, followed by the salutedictorian, Ms. Destiny Stroy. Good afternoon, administrators, distinguished guests, and class of 2018. My name is Passion Calhoun. As Cardi B once said, knock me down nine times, but I get up 10. We all can testify that we've been knocked down at least one time in our four years. As a proud Springer, it is important to recognize the struggles we have overcome to seize our diplomas. We've endured lockdowns for learning, four different principles, and the same french fries with a pound of Old Bay, Old Bay seasoning, which, by the way, is the only seasoned lunch ladies know of. Obstacles and challenges have knocked us down, but like Cardi B, we don't stay down. Some of us have stayed out of school for long practices and club meetings. Others have worked late and still arrived at school on time the next day. And some of us have spent hours studying the halls. But look around you. The majority of us are still here. Now, let us reflect on who we once were. Dear past, you taught us we're all constantly changing and becoming our better selves. We may lose touch with people who no longer match our frequency, but soon we will connect with people who match our aura. C.S. Lewis once said, isn't it funny how day by day nothing changes, but when you look back, everything is different? Springers, we all can say we have been through some changes. Like in the beginning of the year, when everyone hated the sound of the new bell, or the crazy schedule for a director's study. I swear, we never knew what time we were scheduled to leave. Dear President, meet your bosses. We decide what we make up each day. Be courageous enough to take the first leap into adulthood. There will be many days where we question our purpose in life. What we do after walking out the doors today is what should benefit each of us. Take care of yourself. Don't let other people tell you who you are, but most importantly, be about that money. Graduation is a stepping stone to what has yet to come. Soon, we will all start a new chapter in our lives. Some will give their hearts to our country, some will go into the workforce, and some will seek higher education. Whatever route we may choose, there is no set path or rules to follow in access for success. We made it through the madness, and now we turn our attention to the future. Change is inevitable. As much as we like to stay in our comfort zones, as much as we like to be stable, and as much as we like to control our environment, the reality is everything changes. Dear future, we are ready. Destiny Stroy, and I'm honored to speak today as your salutatorian. Of course, we have to thank our family, friends, teachers, coaches, mentors, and others for their support throughout the four years or our entire lives. Who would have imagined that when we first walked into high school, we'd be worried about falling down the steps or whether or not we'll make friends? That four years later, we'd be saying, we made it. And looking at this crowd, I just want to say congratulations to everybody out here, man. I know y'all be future managers, cosmetologists, doctors, lawyers, teachers, dentists, professional athletes, and more. 
We all face those mornings when we've walked into school and we're annoyed by somebody yelling, boy, bye, or hey, girl, and just thought to ourselves, it's too early for all that. Some of us have come to school and realized we didn't study for a test or we forgot to do our homework. Yet, we made sure we kept our streaks on Snapchat, posted pictures on the gram, and watched the latest episode of Riverdale on Netflix. There might have even been times where we didn't have the best practice or day at work, but guess what? Look, it ain't nothing worse than forgetting to get the meat out of the freezer before your mama come home. But we made it. My point is, we need to forget all the wrongs and rights of the past starting today, including those memories of someone's wig being snatched off or being kicked out of class. Today is our day, and it's a beautiful one. You showed up feeling good while owning these caps and gowns, not only because you purchased them, but because you earned them, right along with your high school diploma. Nobody can take that from you. Knowing for a fact that you are walking out of these doors as a high school graduate, headed to eat good afterwards, I feel you on that one. <laughs> the class of 2018 is a masterpiece. We bring creativity, diversity, and a fresh mindset. We fight for what we love and believe in, and that passion is expressed in our actions and words. We have been told that the world isn't pretty and that we will struggle, but that's what makes it worth living. It takes willpower, dedication, trust, faith, confidence, love, and most of all, a plan to be successful at anything. So I leave you with this. No matter what obstacles you face, never give up because as long as you can breathe, you can bring something different to the world. Only you can decide the future, so choose wisely. Before our valedictory address, Highland Springs would like to formally recognize its top 10 academic students for the class of 2018. Please stand to be recognized as I call your name. Corey Jeanne Gilliam. Lohit Sanjay Punetti. Ayana N. Williams. Malik Grant. Lillian Channing Pyatt. Evan W. Barlagi. Naya Janae Terry. Joseph Bradford Hurwitz. Destiny C. Stroy. Salutatorian and valedictorian Cheyenne Simone Eames. At this time, I'd like to ask Ms. Cheyenne Eames to share with us her valedictory address. Good afternoon, class of 2018. This is a significant moment in our lives. Not too long ago in September, we were standing under the blazing sun in full gowns of black and yellow gold, similar to the patterns of the bees flying around us. Three times we practiced, which proved a challenge for the girls who dared to wear heels. Please, don't let me fall on these stairs. Please, don't let my shoes catch. In the background, we could hear the hoots and hollers from the rear of the line. Struggling not to glance over our shoulders or sit down, the first few students had to listen to pomp and circumstance over and over again until the last rows were filled. We've endured the numerous hours of questionnaires, placement tests, or essays for our future careers. But now, it's the real deal. Today, we're handed the diplomas that mark the end of our childhood. Tomorrow, we must venture off into the real world, our only security being ourselves. No matter where we started, all of us have evolved from our younger selves. We sit here in the audience of the Siegel Center as the authors of our own stories, navigating our way through life. We're grateful for our family and friends who've loved and guided our choices which shaped us into the people we are today. Instead of following the crowd, we became individuals who tuned into our inner conscious. In this moment, 
Our presence indicates that we've gotten down to the nitty gritty when it came down to it. From this point on, our actions and commitment will direct our future. How will we leave our mark? We may be the first in our family to <clears throat> earn a high school diploma or graduate from college. Regardless of where we go next, these high school years will soon become distant memories. Either way, we will go on to invest in the numerous possibilities of our future. Despite our history, we all have dreams. As Langston Hughes stated, hold fast to dreams. For if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is like a barren field frozen with snow. While our dreams may seem impossible or imaginary, like a perfect score on the Geometry SOL, as Springers, we know anything and everything is possible. Look at what we've achieved. What we've imagined has suddenly become our reality. Now, we look forward to open minds and a set future. Lastly, Springers, congratulations. And remember, once a Springer, always a Springer.